Let's look at the steps needed to create an SSL VPN portal with an SMB access on my Mac. Coming up. To create an SMB folder share, you will need to use the system preferences sharing. Once you've reach that setting, just choose file sharing. And these are the folders that you can share or add up new folders. It depends on you which folder you wanna share. All right, now you can choose different users and you can choose the different settings for those users, either read and write or read only or write only. I have used my uh, administrator credentials and I have added another user which is OfferSHM. All right, so let's move to our FortiGate. And here on the FortiGate itself, the first step is to create the users that are allowed to uh, use the SSL VPN portal. We will choose the web mode only. So we can create new user, we can add them to a specific group. I have already created a group and added up one user which is offer SHM uh, and it belongs to other groups. So let's just delete those groups and add them only to the SSL users group. The second thing is to move to VPN SSL VPN portal, just create your portal. Let's now use the Mac portal, which I've already created before. You can name it whatever you want to. We will not use tunnel mode. You can name the portal message. You can choose the different teams and you can add up other configurations. The next thing is to create the bookmark. So let's create a new bookmark. The bookmark will be the SMB uh, slash SIFS and the uh, description is the folder. And the link to that folder, let's move again to our SMB settings. Let's just copy that, move back again, paste it and let's name the uh, new bookmark Mac SMB. Okay, so we have a new bookmark. Let's just apply that. And that is enabled on our Mac portal. Only web mode is enabled. The second thing is SSL VPN settings. The listening interface is our web interface. The listening port by default is 443. We will choose 10443, and that's the link for the new SSL VPN portal. We can see that we have not yet created a policy that will allow uh, the SSL users group to enter the SSL VPN portal. We will do that very soon. We are using a self-signed certificate, so just choose your certificate of authority of choice and create a certificate both on the 48 and on the endpoint. And the last thing is to create the mapping. The mapping actually tells which users are mapped to which portal. So currently the SSL users are mapped to two portals. So let's just delete that portal and allow the SSL users only to reach the Mac portal that we have created. Now we can see that uh, we uh, still need to create an SSL VPN policy, but before that, let's just can use the command line config VPN SSL web portal, and let's edit the profile that we have just created, which is Mac. And let's set the SMB uh, minimum version to SMB2 and the SMB maximum version to SMB3. All right, let's just end that. Great. So we have created the portal. We have created the uh, different settings for that portal. We have enabled SMP version two and one. We are not enabling SMB version one. And the last thing to do is to create the firewall policy. So let's create a new policy. Let's name it to Mac. 
the incoming interface is the SSL VPN tunnel interface. That is for both tunnel mode and web mode. The outgoing interface, just choose the interface that you wish. I'm choosing uh, the WAN interface. Source can be all, and you need to choose the SSL users group. Destination, you can create an address group for that specific uh, destination. So let's just create one. I believe that I have already created one, but let's create another one. Mac SMB server and the IP address is 10.100.102. The 34 and let's make it slash 32. All right, so that's the address. Scheduling is always on service, we will not limit it. Um, all right, that's about it. So let's move to our VPN portal. And there we have it. So let's just use the user that is that is in my SSL group. Let's log in and there I have it. That's the Mac SMB bookmark. And you can press and enter the credentials of one of the users that are granted to reach that shared folder.